Well, this Wednesday, we're still at the Denver Narrow Gauge Convention, the 2017 Narrow Gauge Convention, and this is our first layout tour. We drove out to the home of Bill White to see his FN3 San Juan Southern. So the question comes up, what is FN3 and is that the same as G? Well, uh, G, uh, no, not really, sort of. Same gauge, different scale. This is 120.3. If you're confused by all of that, we've got a lovely show up on scales and gauges. And you might want to watch that, even though it's kind of long and therefore sort of boring. This is Bill White, and this is his magnificent creation here in his basement. Yes, it is kind of crowded down here, but you would expect it to be crowded when you put something as large as a 120th scale railroad indoors. A lot of people model in these large scales outdoors because, well, it fits better out there. But if you really want to do fine scale and a lot of accuracy, well, yeah, that's pretty difficult to do in your backyard, much easier to do in your basement. Most of the structure modeling down here is all scratch built. In this large scale, you can really do some things. Look at the beautiful weathered paint here. It's just amazing. The locomotives in rolling stock are off the shelf products, but highly, highly modified, uh, kit bashed, if you will. Pretty much everything you see here on the railroad has been modified in some way or simply built from scratch. These fabulous brick buildings have been done using embossed paper. I've been dying to try this technique. The color of the brick is simply printed on there using a computer printer, and then the texture is embossed into the paper, which is placed over laser cut wood. The embossing's really deep, and I need to figure out how he's doing this, because I want to try it. Here's a fun project. It's a Ford Tri-Motor. I hope you guys saw the show where Karen and I went for a ride in a Ford Tri-Motor. Of course, everything here is being run on command control with really, really neat sound systems. Love the sound of these locomotives. The layout's only 20 by 30 feet, and in this scale, that seems almost impossible that you could do any kind of a layout in that size. And yet, here it is, and it's actually quite a nice operational track plan. He was running two trains and having meets and all sorts of things, and gee, it turned out quite nice, and everything ran smoothly. Here we see another one of those embossed paper buildings, but check out the paint here, the peeling white paint. Oh, amazing. Wonder if he'd be willing to share his technique with us. There's a lot of really nice automotive subjects here and some really good figures too. I love to see that sort of thing, sometimes neglected or overlooked on a model railroad, particularly the figures. Also a really nice variety of rolling stock and because everything's been heavily modified, stuff that you just don't normally see around. We were told that the scenery and structures were about 70% finished on the railroad. Well, it seemed a lot more than 70% to me. You really had to look around for anything that wasn't 100% finished. 
check out this incredible mine with a full interior. It's a little hard to see through the window here, but trust me, the interior of this little building was amazing. The entire mine was really amazing. Good figures, lots of detail. In 120th scale, the 18-inch gauge mine track comes out the same as HO. So it's possible to really do some detailed 18-inch gauge mine equipment. That is, after all, the principal benefit of modeling in such a large size. You can pull off details that's nearly impossible in other scales. Thank you. 